Hi, uh, Kent. Uh, this is uh, Dan Groover. I was wondering if I could talk to you about something real quick. Sure. Uh, do I do I know you from somewhere, Dan? Uh, I uh, actually was a, a fan of your blog back uh, when you were writing articles uh, uh, on a new. I think it's Newsmax in 2012. Yeah, yeah. Your name sounds familiar, but I, I haven't talked to you in a while. Uh, what, what is it you wanted to talk about, Dan? Uh, I was wondering if I might uh, be able to uh, interview you uh, about some of the articles you wrote in around 2012, uh, talking about the war, the global war on the CIA, where basically the Republicans were purged, uh, maybe touching base on uh, the fact that, uh, you know, I think uh, the things that happened to uh, Petraeus uh, were actually orchestrated in a certain sense because, you know, he mm -hmm. was a Republican. Well, he's Republican, isn't he? Uh, sort of. Well, yeah, yeah, military guys don't uh, don't announce their uh, their their political affiliation, and he he still has not. It, it's it's really hard to say. Well, what are are you writing for someone now, or or what, what would the interview be used for? Uh, I basically uh, have a page on Facebook that's very popular. It's called the IRS, and I, I chose that acronym as a you know joke. You know, talking about the Internal Revenue Service. Uh, it actually stands for the Intelligent Reader Society, and we have uh, thirteen point five thousand subscribers. Uh, Adrian Lamo, uh, the guy that kept ma uh, cap helped capture Manning or, or you know helped uh, you know collect intel, he's uh, one of the administrators on my page, and uh, we've got a nice uh, thing going. And uh, I was actually interested. If you're still interested in writing, I could make you an editor in the page. You could just post directly in the page and, and advertise your articles and anything else, <laughs> even your consulting services. Interesting. Yeah. Well, hey, let me give you the address for the page. If you're not busy, I could. Start off? Okay. I, I'm, I'm sorry, John. Why don't we start off with you? Uh, let, let's do an interview. Um, tonight wouldn't be a good time, but uh, you know, let's set it up maybe tomorrow afternoon sometime if that would work for you. Okay. Uh, uh, and, and because of uh, uh, what I what I did in twenty, uh, just let me uh, get, take a minute or two to give you some background because yeah. I'm uh, I recently was in contact with an uh, inspector or, or I guess I, I thought they were inspectors, but he said his name was investigator this time. The last time I talked to him, he said it was inspector. Now he's, I think they're they're calling themselves investigators. Uh, do you know Devoe? Hey, what, who, who do they work for? Oh, I'm not sure. Devoe's Devoe's in the CIA. Uh, I think it's John DeVoe, D-E-V-O-U-X. He's uh, with the OIG. The OIG? Office of Inspector General. Hmm. No, no, I don't know. People work there uh, sort of as a, uh, a uh, end of the career slowdown. Oh, it's kind of like uh, yeah, it's kind of like uh, uh, when someone's in the military and they don't get promoted fast enough, they get put in positions where they're slowly phased out. Exactly. Well, well, it's sort of a reward for. Oh, know, it's like a cushy, easy you know, job out. Your your kids are in college. You hang out for three or four years just before you retire. But and you know, it's people people rotate through there. So no, I I, I don't know that name. But uh, what's what's that, what's that about? Uh, the reason this all kind of ties together in a kind of part of my French fucked up fashion is because, you know, I've been, I've always been a big fan of the, uh, Central Intelligence Agency since I was about five, uh, when I, I don't know, for some reason I was interested in, uh, George H.W. Bush, uh, uh, when he was, uh, director from 79 to 80. And I always had a, uh, respect for, uh, you know, intelligence and the CIA and, uh, on a side note, I looked on a wiki just out of curiosity about the DCI list. They now officially list uh, Bush as the DCI under Ford from 76 to 77. But, okay. yeah, that's kind of funny. But uh, uh, basically, I wrote a book in 2012 that was kind of, uh, at the time, I was, I was uh, you know, working. I was reading your stuff, but I was also 
very interested in the hacktivist movement of Anonymous, and, and then it kind of like converged into, uh, you know, uh, the whole debacle with Snowden where he was playing Where's Waldo and they were trying to catch him going to Hong Kong. Well, as I was following that in the anonymous uh, echelon of uh, social media and in the other social media that was kind of like involved with conspiracy and CIA stuff, somewhere along the line, I ended up on a dark web forum using a Tor browser, and somebody posted, hey, here's a link. It's going down in a few minutes or a few hours. Uh, it's a torrent. It's a private torrent. Uh, once one, And it's got 450 pages of NSA documents. Uh, and so I, I downloaded that shit, you know. And then I, I was working on a book uh, that I called The Putin Paradox, you know, after Vladimir Putin. And uh, uh, in the beginning of the Putin paradox, I showcase uh, six of your articles, and I, I, I give you at, at attribution. You're saying you wrote it. I'm not. I don't say that I wrote it. But uh, right. at the end of the Putin paradox, I really didn't have time to read 450 pages of NSA docs, and, and it was really technical crap about IT. And the, I did glance over it. It looked like it was talking about a new system that tied into the satellite trunks and uh, was going to somehow tie together uh, the NSA's PRISM phone monitoring with uh, the Echelon uh, uh, camera recognition or something like that. And among other things, you know, it was a whole bunch of documents, and I'm not really, uh, you know, versed in all the acronyms and stuff. So I, I stuck it in a PDF so, so, document. Can you, cut, can you cut to the chase? It's been really complicated. What, so, so what, what is, where does this all lead to? Oh, basically, the reason, uh, the reason I it kind of comes for full circle is because the the document that's a thousand pages long called the Putin Paradox begins with six of your articles and it, it okay. ends in an appendix with the NSA documents. And I forgot about it because I trimmed it down to 250 pages and uh, ended up selling uh, the, uh, you know, the trimmed down version with just my writings on Amazon. Uh, uh, and, and then I recently dug it up out of my uh, Gmail and, and uh, noted that I forgot about the NSA document, so I talked to DeVoe, and he uh, he said that there is something significant in there. Okay, so what, what is the DeVoe connection? I mean, what, how, how are you talking to somebody from the uh, Inspector General's office? Because I was referred to him from uh, Adrian Lamo, who I met online uh, uh, via the, uh, the, the various Facebook uh uh, venues and stuff like that. He and I ended up uh, talking to each other because I know a bit about hacking and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's, it's so complicated. Uh, why, don't, why don't you like send me an email with a link to the uh, to the Facebook page? Yeah. Can I also and include the PDF to the uh, to the uh, the Putin paradox that features your, your articles in the beginning and the NSA docs at the end? Okay. Sure. Yeah. That sounds good. And, and then uh, suggest the time uh, that we can talk and, and give me a, an overview of what you want to talk about so I can be uh, prepared. Yeah. Ready. I, I would basically, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll write it in the email. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Send me an email with those things I asked for, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, and that would be the email Kent at KentClisby.com? Yes, sir, exactly. Okay, great. I appreciate your time, sir. And I, I thanks for talking with me. Yeah, I look forward to talking to you again. Take care. Thanks. All right, bye-bye. Good work. All right. All right, bye-bye.